बेसिक मखनी ग्रेवी हेलो एंड वेलकम टू संजीव कपूर खजाना आई एम जाई and today i'm going to teach you a few basic recipes the recipe that i'm going to show right now is the basic makhani gravy let's quickly go ahead and look at the ingredients we'll need tomatoes garam masala powder green cardamom ginger kasuri methi powder mace honey red chili powder garlic butter fresh cream so to begin with the recipe we have to cut the tomatoes roughly just remove the eye part and chop them roughly don't have to cut them finely as we are going to puree them at the end so our tomatoes are now cut i've already heated a nonstick pan i'm straight away going to transfer the tomatoes in the pan if you are in hurry you can follow the same recipe and do this procedure in the pressure cooker after we add the tomatoes we'll add butter which is the main ingredient of the makhani gravy we'll add mace garlic Deghi chili powder which gives a very bright color to the gravy ginger green cardamom and mix after we mix all the ingredients nicely add around a cup of water mix again lower the heat cover and cook till the tomatoes are nice and soft so as we can see the tomatoes are nicely cooked they are soft and pulpy at this point of time you're going to shut the gas and you can allow the tomatoes to cool down and then puree it but if you don't have time what you can do is you can straight away transfer them in a big bowl and with the help of a hand blender blend it okay as you can see our mixture is ground to a nice and fine puree so puree is now ready what i'm going to do is in the same pan we'll strain the puree straining the gravy will ensure that the gravy or the final product it's smooth strain it nicely you can see the consistency of the gravy it's absolutely smooth and silky bring the gravy back on the heat and we have to add a certain ingredients like kasuri methi powder which is a very essential ingredient of the makhani gravy little bit of garam masala powder we'll add some amount of honey to give sweetness and to cut down the sourness of the tomatoes that we're using mix nicely now this is the basic gravy you can add a uh, pieces of ready made chicken tikka you can prepare the chicken tikka at home and add it to the gravy you can even add boiled vegetables or pieces of paneer so this is the basic gravy now at the time of the serving what you can do is to make the gravy even more rich you can add some fresh cream but make sure after adding the fresh cream do not cook the gravy for more time as there are chances of the cream to get split mix well and switch off the heat immediately the gravy is ready let's transfer it in a bowl our basic makhani gravy is ready as i told you you can add choice of your vegetables or meat in this gravy make the recipe just the way i have made it and you will be happy